Paris, Marseille perhaps? Actually, San Francisco and the eccentric members of the Arcane Auto Society. But behind every offbeat classic, a sound reason. On est français. Ma mère, elle est française. Et j'adore la France. And uh, that's the biggest reason. I, and I feel a kinship to uh, the French, and I am Francophile completely. We bought this in northern Germany, and we took it directly to the boat and shipped it to the U.S. So it was brand new when we got it here. I bought it 21 years ago in the Dordogne region of France, and I looked up the old farmer that I bought it from. He's 75 years old now. It was 21 years to the week that I bought the car. I showed him pictures of the car, and he was very excited that we came to see him, and we had a great time. French cars are the most wonderful thing to collect because you can drive them and show off. The Arcane's English fans aren't averse to showing off either. No stiff upper lips here. British cars do something for me that I can't quite explain. I've had German cars and American cars and Italian cars, but uh, my first love is English cars. They, they smell right, they drive right, they're just right. But some of them didn't sell too well in California. What they said was made by thousands, sold by the half dozen. Everybody likes it, it's cute. It's, it's a cute little car. But there are cuter and littler cars in the Arcane Club. This one that I have now is actually a really rare one because they only made 50 of them. And it's a, a complete convertible and it's bubble window and I love it. It's great, lots of fun. I've seen people walk into poles while they're looking at me in my car and um, sort of get close to my car while they're driving and, and things like that. So I have to be extra careful while I'm driving, but um, it's fun. Well, to be a member of the Arcane Auto Society, you need to have a car that is so unusual that the average person would say, what is that? What kind of a car is that? Which is why we have our slogan on our shirts. President's duties is to be the only person that does anything and has to write the newsletter and make all the phone calls and sit down and say, we haven't done anything in a couple of months. I wonder where we should go next. And one particular member has a much wider choice of where to go than the others. About 10 years ago, 83, we had a huge flood, and I lost my car. It doesn't float for five days. The Volkswagens float, but not that long. And the joke was that I needed to get one of these um, amphibious cars. And one night, a friend of mine called up and said, found one for you in the Sacramento Bee. Go down there, to, you know, give him a call. So I did, and found that. It's, it's not a very good car, and it's not a very good boat. Um, it handles basically like a 1950s uh, European car, which is to say a lot of oversteer, swing axles, sort of rear engine, um, terrible brakes, and then it handles about like that in the water, and I um, love it. <laughs>